Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and today we are reacting to some recommendations. Um, I got an email from Who's Your Daddy? I'm not going to use your real name in case that you don't want it out there. Um, he emailed me saying, Jono, just got a video in my feed that you'll like. It's the US Air Force's newest bomber, the B-21 Raider. Very stealthy and futuristic looking. Here's a link. I'll stick your email up on the screen now. Thank you so much for getting in touch and thanks so much for the recommendation. I really, really do appreciate them. If you've got any recommendations that you'd like me to react to, the best way to get hold of me at the moment is probably to drop me an email. My link is down in the uh, in the description. If you, well, my email address is down in the description. If you want me to react to anything, that's probably the best way at the moment. Until I get this computer sorted, which is being an absolute nightmare at the moment, that's the best way to get hold of me and get your reaction ideas or what you would like me to react to in front of me, if that makes any sense. Sorry, I'm tired. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to react to the most technologically advanced and menacing plane ever built by the US. Um, I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm really enjoying these uh, like military plane reactions. They are so cool. They are epic looking. I'm still waiting. I know it's only been a couple days, but I'm still waiting for my models to arrive in the post. Not those kind of models. Head out the gutter. Um, but yeah, the, the the models that you paint and stuff, I can't wait to get them. I've never painted them before. I guess it's a sign of me getting a bit older that I, I want to paint some models. But yeah, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra frisky, you may as well hit the like button as well. I do have a buy me a coffee page down in the description if anyone wants to buy a coffee. But if you don't want to, please don't feel like you need to. That's just there. Please, I'd rather if you if 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 I was to choose buy someone you love something nice, whether it's just a coffee in the morning to say good morning or, you know, something like that. Just do something nice for someone. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the most technologically advanced and menacing plane ever built by the US. In 2009, after almost 35 years without acquiring a strategic bomber, the US Air Force initiated the Long Range Strike Bomber Program to develop the most advanced bomber ever designed. The program was ambitious and took almost a decade, but it paid off when Northrop Grumman came up with a potential replacement for the B-52, B-1 Lancer. Sorry to, to pause, but isn't it amazing how far advanced technologically, like technology has come in just a short time? It's, I, it baffles my brain sometimes. When I was a kid, I would never have thought I could take a picture with my phone. And I'm only 36, so I'm not that old yet. But you know what I mean? It's crazy how quick it's advancing. Um, yeah, sorry if I fidget again, my back is still knackered, but let's get back into it. off when Northrop Grumman came up with a potential replacement for the B-52, B-1 Lancer, and the B-2 Spirit Bomber. Oh, there's my fa one of my favorites, the B-2. I've done the a reaction to so that. Amazing. was finally unveiled in December of 2022. From epic sounds oh. to dramatic lightning, Grumman and the Air Force showed off the B-21 Raider with Holy a silhouette smart. similar to that of the B-2 Spirit. Oh, man. It does look like a big manta ray, doesn't it? It is beautiful. That's the worst. I know some people might get frustrated by the way I describe it, but that is epic beauty. During the event, Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III emphasized that it was the first 21st century bomber and the product Holy of over 50 smokes. years of advances in low observable technology. In his own words, quote, even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to detect a B-21 in the mm. sky. Scary, eh? Long Range Strike Bomber Program. In 2009, the US Air Force launched the Long Range Strike Bomber, or LRSB program, to develop and acquire a long range strategic bomber. The objective was to create the definitive replacement for the B 1 Lancer. I can't imagine the brain power you have to have to design something like this. I'm a few marbles short up there, I think, but flipping heck, these, there's so many talented and genius people out there. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary, you know. I'm not, I'm not thick. At least I don't think so, anyway. But just imagine being able to design something like that. I know it's a team of people, but even as a team of people, holy smoke. Bummer. It's the so impressive. Was to create the definitive replacement for the B-1 Lancer, the B-2 Spirit Bomber, and the B-52 Shadow Fortress. Oh man. Funding and development were slow, but the program eventually accelerated in 2015 after increasing threats from China, North Korea, and Russia. 
the Air Force's request for proposals called for a strategic bomber that could be quickly developed with existing technologies, be optimally manned, compatible with a family of systems, and able to carry a considerable payload. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman all applied for the program, and in October of 2015, the Defense Department awarded the contract to Grumman, mainly because of the costs involved. Hmm. Although the other two companies did not recognize it initially, the decision was final. Consequently, I've worked in a sort of workshop assembly sort of setting before, and I can tell you something now. It was never, ever, ever that clean. <laughs> that is pristine. And then continued working on a prototype <laughs> based on the B-2, a model which was also originally developed to replace the B-52 and the B-1 laser. looks like a shadow. Look at it. Oh, my gosh. Northrop Grumman rises. During the 2016 Air Warfare Symposium, Air Force officials announced that the LRSB would be designated the B-21 bomber because it was the first 21st century American bomber. Then, in the September 2016 Air Force Association Conference, retired Lieutenant Colonel Richard E. Cole, the last surviving member of the U.S. Army Air Force's pilots Flippin that participated in the Doolittle Raid of World War II, huh. announced that the bomber would be named Raider in honor of the brave men he served alongside. Barely any more information was shared with the public in the following years, with only minor leaks about the prototype aircraft. It was not until September of 2022 that Grumman published an article listing 10 facts about the B-21 Raider and its unveiling that December. It just looks so the menacing! That the Raider was developed to become the backbone of the U.S. Air Force fleet, delivering a new era of capability through advanced integration of data, sensors, and weapons. With its global reach, Grumman noted the new stealth bomber would serve the nation's strategic deterrence strategy. Particular emphasis was given to the sustainment, affordability, and state-of-the-art manufacturing techniques of the B-21 Raider. Mm. Coupled with this, Grumman and the Air Force successfully demonstrated the migration of B-21 ground systems data to a cloud environment. First 21st Century Bomber. On December 2nd, 2022, the United States Air Force and Northrop Grumman Corporation officially unveiled the B-21 Raider at the U.S. Air Force's Advanced Aircraft Research and Development Facility in Palmdale, California. The Raider is the first new American strategic bomber in over 35 years and the first sixth-generation aircraft worldwide. During the unveiling of the stealth strategic bomber, Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III said that the B-21 Raider, quote, is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation, and it's proof of the department's long-term commitment to building advanced capabilities. Oh, look at that in white. It looks amazing in white, doesn't it? So sleek. I flippin' like that. I really like that. By America's ability to deter aggression today and into the future. The Raiders' reveal was nothing short of epic. During the live stream, dramatic music and dynamic lightning effects gave way to the I elegant wish I silhouette of the. I wish I knew about this live stream. I would have loved to have watched it. New bomber. Almost instantly, the crowd was welcomed by a familiar figure, that of the iconic B-2 Spirit bomber, the Raiders' predecessor. Hmm. The airframe shown was painted in white instead of the usual black, hinting at a new type of concealing technology. The reporters also noted there were no visible seams, suggesting that the B-21 features Jeez, new advanced right. materials that allow sensors, air data systems, and communication antennas to be built directly into the airframe. Austin added that it would be hard for any adversary to see the aircraft coming, remarking, quote, The B-21 looks imposing, but what's under the frame and the space-age coatings is even more impressive. Hmm. Yeah, Although that's no the specific thing. details were given about the model, the Air Force clarified that more than 50 years of advances in low observable technology went into the bomber's development. It's like he says, what you can see is amazing. Imagine what you can't see and the, technolo like the technology behind everything is like, it's uncomprehendable to someone like me. Like I couldn't even imagine what that has on there that like the capabilities of that beast. I think that's a better word for it. It's amazing. The Raider. The the 
Secretary of Defense was joined by Grumman's president, Kathy Wharton, who said the B-21, quote, defines a new era in technology and strengthens America's role of delivering peace through deterrence. This next generation aircraft defines what this nation is capable of when we work together. Definitely. The dramatic lighting used during the presentation kept some of the Raiders' parts in the shadows, especially the rear. As such, information related to the propulsion system, engine exhausts, and overall flight capabilities are still classified. Hmm. Based on comparisons, it looks as though the B-21 is smaller than the B-2 Spirit. I was going to say it looks a lot... Over Sorry, I was going to say it looks a lot smaller than the other one. It looks as though the B-21 is smaller than the B-2 Spirit, which has a wingspan of over 172 feet. But Grumman and the Air Force emphasized the Raider was designed to be the most maintainable bomber to date, thanks to an open system architecture. Austin made it clear that, quote, Jeez. as the United States continues to innovate, this bomber will be able to defend our country with new weapons that haven't even been invented yet. And the B-21 is multifunctional. <laughs> oh, what a warning. The Department of Defense also emphasized the B-21 will be able to conduct operations ranging from intelligence gathering to battle management and seamless integration with equipment employed by the United States and its allies. In addition, the B-21 will also operate in crewed or uncrewed configurations as part of its open systems architecture. Does uncrewed mean it, it can fly autonomously, like on its own, not on its own, obviously, someone will be controlling it, but like a drone? Finally, it is known that the Raider can carry conventional and nuclear weapons. This includes the JASM missile, the GBU-53B Stormbreaker bomb, the LRASM anti-ship missile, nuclear ordnance such as the B-61-12 gravity bomb, and the long-range standoff missile. Those things are so scary. Initial deliveries. The Department of Defense and Grumman announced that the B-21 Raider is one of the cheapest bombers ever produced in U.S. history. Oh, wow. Coming up at over 692 million per unit. Meanwhile, Time Mag- Chump change, 692 million per unit. Up Easy. at over 692 million per unit. Meanwhile, Time Magazine revealed the program will cost U.S. taxpayers over $203 billion over the next 30 years. In early January of 2023, billion. Chief Financial Officer Dave Keffer told the press he expected a contract for the first of five low-rate initial production lots. Keffer noted that this phase will last until the end of the decade, but could go on longer due to macroeconomic risks such as inflation, labor issues, and supply chain disruptions. Northrop Grumman President Kathy Warden also remarked that the government is committed to buying at least 100 Raiders. Warden stated the government has been very supportive of Northrop Grumman and other defense firms and encouraged them to invest in future technologies. The chief executive concluded by saying that the first flight of the B-21 Raider is still scheduled for this year, following its impressive public debut in I'm December of 2020. I'm definitely looking forward to that first flight. That is going to be amazing. I'd love to see that. I hope they live stream that. And if they live stream it and anybody knows where I can watch it, please let me know. Two. Thank you for watching my video. No, thank you guys for watching my video. What an awesome plane. What a, like, it just looks so menacing. And as cool as I think they are, I hope and pray that they are never used for what they are meant to be used for with these nuclear stuff that's all going on way above my head and way above my pay grade to even talk about. And I'd rather not talk about it because I don't know enough about all this drama that's going on. I try and, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't even watch the news. I don't watch it because it just depresses you, doesn't it? I'd rather try and keep positive in other ways. I don't want to look at what what's going on. <laughs> I'm one of those like like a tortoise or something. I keep my head in my shell and just ignore it all if I can. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And thank you to Who's Your Daddy? I think it is. Yep, Who's Your Daddy? Thank you so much for the recommendation and the email. I really appreciate the email. I really appreciate the recommendation. And thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys are legends, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.